you know the problem that we see now in FBC started from its formation because uh, in the seventh parliament we we had a body where those of us who didn't belong to NRM but wanted a, you know a solid basis for moving forward we it was a it was a parliamentary forum now in that parliamentary forum we had people like Justin Lumumba the current uh, clerk to parliament Adolf Mwesije was our secretary and what happened was Adolf and Justin they left and joined the NRM then we said what do we do we remained with people like Ben Wacha, Augustin Rosindana, uh, Maria Matembe, uh, and, 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 and those senior members, particularly from the NRM. So we looked around and we decided, let us form a party. Now, there are people like Maria Matembe with their strong NRM roots who never came to the party. Katagaya even came. The meetings we had in uh, in uh, in uh, Entebbe Road, where we discussed the formation of the party at its early stages. Now, I basically was it abroad, so eventually, Chapa's party uh, reform agenda of basically, we came from DP, and uh, others came from UPC. It is this group that formed FDC. And at its formation, there were three deputy presidents, me, uh, Salam Musumba, and the late uh, 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 from, I don't know why his name keeps, uh, uh, he was in, in, in with Besige, they were in NRM, very senior people. So, uh, we elected Salam Musumba as our interim president. I was in charge of the party platform and the later party constitution. And when we finished, we, our first national council was in Stellenbosch, in South Africa. That is where Besige formally took his position as party president and we asked him to return. Now, from that time, some of us could see that there was a problem. Because people like uh, the Nandalas, the Regans, they, they thought they were a reform agenda and mm -hmm. therefore the party belonged to them. For us, we were like outsiders. And, and, and we, we, me, I deliberately avoided this conflict because I thought we could build a party that, that would rest on value, uh, rest on, on principles, and rest on aspiration to create change. That's why with the name Change came. Even the pull calls were there. And you can imagine, when Bessie was coming back, I was, I was supposed to be one of the people to go and pick a, a company from Nairobi. I was sidestepped. <laughs> but all the same, me and Alasu, we, we received a, a, him at Entebbe Air Force. And from that time, he has been a relentless fire, centered around basically. This thing you see in FBC is, is all about Bessige and Bessige playing his cards the way he likes to play. I, uh, I'm not surprised. Uh, the first serious fight was, I read the papers today, nobody mentioned it. The first serious mm -hmm. fight was when I became leader of opposition. I actually defeated the, you helped me with the, the name of my, my elder from, from, um, from Gaya's side. He was a lawyer, he was deputy president. We contested for, for leader of opposition with him in Parliament. And that is the only time the leader of opposition was voted for. Bessie wanted 
to a point we said no. The law says elect. And when it came to election, I defeated uh, my good brother very heavily. The Buganda caucus actually boycotted the party headquarters for months until we were held a meeting. And I said, look, <laughs> and you know the, the, the people in front of Buganda caucus that time, Olive, come here now, uh, uh, IGG, uh, Sebuguao, now minister in the in government, they were bitter. And I went and told them, I said, okay, what is the problem? I am prepared to resign, provided you can explain to the country why <laughs> I am leaving. They said, ah, but that is not what we wanted. But you, I could see that behind it, Bessie was was supporting them, but he never found the issue. So when that passed, we had the second problem, where Bessie said he, he was renewing his leadership. It was not about him renewing leadership. They then asked all of us to resign. I had refused. I said, the constitution is very clear. I was elected for five years. I'm not going to resign. But they thought it was a weakness. Eventually, I said, okay. And whom do they put? They put Reagan to contest against me. And uh, that is when we hit Vesige really hard. Because uh, he didn't know what was happening. He thought he had the, the votes of Buganda, but I had the friendship of, of Buganda and the Katikiro. And the day we, the day before the delegates conference in Nambole, I picked uh, Bale, who was party chairman of uh, Buganda. And I said, Bale, I want us to go somewhere. And we head to Bulange. <laughs> and we arrived at the gate. They, they saw my vehicle, they were saluting. In front of Bulange, there were three elders in Kansas waiting for me. And then we go to the cabinet room of the Katikiro of Buganda. And Wani Kabale said, oh, let me make a call. That is where I think he called these guys and said, ah, you don't touch Latigu, he's the Kabaka's man. When the elections in Nambole came, I tried to tell Reagan, I said, leave it. He could not listen. The results started coming from Mpigi, Massacre, Latigo 100 and something, Reagan 4. That day, Bessie cried. And after that, I finished my term and I knew that with Bessie still in the helm, I am out of any official position in FDC. What you are seeing is uh, people who were objective and had no interest other than building the party and offering alternative for the country. I've left people like me, people like Muntu, and many other decent people. And in the end, the house remained with Besige, Nandala, and that group, and the new entrance of Lukwago and Semuju. Of the new entrance, Semuju, I can, I can vouch for him. He has no monetary interest in being where he is. I am I'm the one who urged him to join the party. I see two things in that Amuriat is also a victim. He's being used. I see, I see two things and two people. Nandala and Besid. For Nandala, it is material and financial benefit. For Besid, this sense of this is me, this is mine, and what I say must prevail. It, these are the problems. And I, I, I was reading people talking about, you know, state house uh, eating Museveni money, what? No. That party headquarters you see, FDC headquarters, is prime land. 
If you work out its value now, it is huge money. Somebody like uh, Nandala is probably hoping he will be in control of the party and they'll sell that thing and they make money. And I suspect Besige too may have that interest. So it's not about, it's not about leader, leadership of FDC. It is about self-interest. Because if it was about leadership of FDC, the best way of providing leadership is to show that when your time comes, you can stand, step aside, still support the party by virtue of like your spirit being there and your wisdom being there, rather than this manipulation. Unfortunately for Dr. Bessinger, it's too manipulative. He, he will bring Amoria to stand against uh, uh, Muntu, knowing very well that he has no interest in Amuria, but he has interest in ensuring that Muntu doesn't establish himself. And Nandala should not, should not talk very much. I was his party uh, opposition leader when he was chairman of uh, Public Account Accounts Committee. If people want us to talk, we will talk. So they should, they should stop that nonsense of accusing others of taking money from the president, of them being innocent, when they are crooks. And with those two, if any of them still maintains leadership in FDC, that party has no future. The other key element, which is a weakness that we face, you know, UPC and DP, where parties formed at independence, by people who had, had accomplished things in life. Now, party politics is, is where people seek to accomplish things in life. They are not like Professor Latigu who had distinguished himself in Makerere and went into politics not, not, to, not to gain any reputation but to make a contribution. And unfortunately, it will be in NRM when President Museveni is gone, it will be in FDC. Our politics is bad because we have just a huge body of people who take politics as an opportunity. I mean, in NRM, who, who are, who are, apart from now, you see Otafire, etc., who are the guys whom you can follow the NRM legacy through? Uh, their mamas were decimated at one time, the Kabojeres are home, and, and people who are there were never grown up by people who should grow. You know, you grow your child to succeed you. How many of them grew up in the party hierarchy to, to claim success? And secondly, the tragedy we have is the nature of our MPs, for example. You go to Nairobi and uh, you'll find an MP has five hotels, resort hotels in Mombasa. You go to uh, Tanzania, an MP is a wealthy man. So he, he doesn't have to come and take this small, small money of parties or of, of, of parliament to thrive. But in Uganda, most of these guys, <laughs> you, you know, you ask yourself, if you looked at parliament from the top, what, what did they build in life for them to deserve being leaders of parliament? That is the tragedy of our politics in Uganda. In FDC, it is just a manifestation of a very terrible disease that is afflicting Ugandan politics. FDC is now basically in a free fall. Uh, nobody amongst those can bring the party to what it was. Because what it was was eroded a long time ago. Secondly, we have a more fundamental problem of Ugandan politics. These parties are wasting their time until we focus ourselves on thinking about Uganda and its future and the kind of Uganda that we love to emerge after President Museveni. Whether you are in FDC, 
UNAP, UNRM, UPC, DP, we will all be victims. And for me, that is where my focus is. This, these are small fights we can leave for the kids to play around with. But the bigger thing is to say, which way Uganda? And that is the most fundamental. If they want, let them call us on TV. And we assign agreement that everything we say will not lead to a court case. And then we bring issues out. And people will see. What makes these people unclean? It's their record. <laughs> what makes you clean is, is your record. We, I have all their records. You see, Nandala, uh, Semuju says, Nandala got money from State House. He doesn't say, I never did. He starts saying, oh, it is Semuju. You saw his billboards, you saw this. Why don't you say I'm clean? And stop at that. <laughs> Besige is not a leader. He's, 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 uh, he's, uh, he's too self-centered. Good leaders are never self-centered. They acknowledge that there can be people better than them. That's why some of us were very successful as professors in the university. Because when you see talent, you love to build it. You don't compare it with yours and say, this student thinks he's smarter than me. No, the smarter one is even better. <laughs> because you know your own standard, and if anybody exceeds it, you are just grateful that you are building something much better than <laughs> where you were. No, because all that Muntu was saying is that what these people are saying are lies. And, and Muntu doesn't have to be a mole. <laughs> a big elephant cannot be a mole. Latigu is a big elephant. He cannot be a mole. <laughs> You'll see him. One time I came out of State House and one of those guys, Nandala himself, I, we can look up the papers and say, oh, Latigu went to State House. He has been bought. I'd gone there on the issue of Amoru Sugar, which my people did not accept. But me, I understood it as a development expert that it would be in our best interest to get it developed. And, and for them, they, they think if, 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 if the only evidence is that you must not be seen. Hmm? Even when you do it, you must not be seen. <laughs> what, we'll, what we'll wait to see is the, the fallout out of these struggles. And at the end of it, we'll see the pieces of FDC that remains. If it can still be salvaged, then we'll see how to help them put it together to a functional party. But as of now, FDC doesn't have relevance anywhere. So even if you formulate it as a party, what will it do? I hear, I see the Mafabi saying, uh, uh, Semuju is a tribalist, uh, they're calling us, they don't want us. I was talking to some of the guys who were in, in Zambia, and these guys are saying, we know than us. Even guys from the East now are saying, we know than us. You know. Once you define parties in that context, it just tells how useless you are in the leadership of that party. They were accusing Nandala Mafabi of attempting to take the FDC to NRM the way Nibat Mao did. Do you think this is the No, reason? that is not true. I, I, know, I know where Nandala's focus is. And uh, I was discussing with my lawyer yesterday. You know, when we were buying that party, uh, headquarters from uh, Musingusi. Uh, it is me who suggested members of parliament make monthly contribution. Well, every member was making three, a monthly contribution of 300,000, I was making 600,000. And I told my lawyer, I'm a life member of FDC, I, am, I have my record of contribution, I'm waiting. When the party falls, and that asset is going to be uh, 
uh, dissolved, I want my share. And nobody will say you are not a member of FTC. Because for some of those guys, that is where their focus is. By the way, that property is in the middle of Kampala. So they are planning to sell the property. That is where they, they're all dying for that property. How big is that? Property? It is big. The FDC headquarters is big. The land alone could be in the region of uh, 80 billion or something. That's a lot of money. In terms of size, I, 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 can't, I don't have the figure. But it has structures in it. But those structures, somebody will buy, not for the structures. They will demolish and put a 10 story building there. Where does this land? Amuriat is a victim. <laughs> if he survives, he's okay. If he perishes, we'll bury him. <laughs> wow. Do you see basically trying to reclaim the presidency? He, he knows he's no longer very relevant, by the way. But all you will do is to sabotage legitimate leaders from being at the helm of FDC. So, so that... Uh, he uh, is, is not wiped out of the face of the party. Okay. Mugisha Muntu was a threat. I can tell you, when I was leader of opposition, one day the late uh, speaker Jacobo Langa comes to my office and I said, Jacobo, you have never come here. What is the problem? He said, I am from Juba. And I'm just from the airport, and I thought I must come and tell you. He said the evening before, he was at Jubara Hotel, and some guys, including a former member of parliament from Western Uganda, a lady who was working with the UN, they said, because the late Jacob was big like a, a Dinka, they thought he was a Dinka, and they were talking about Ugandan politics. And they said, the person basically must watch is Latigo. He's going to take away leadership from him. So when Jacob did that, I went on the computer, printed out a letter, I signed, and I gave him, and I walked out. When I came back, he said, oh, I thought you didn't know. Because I'd written to Besage. And I said, if ever I wanted, I saw inadequacy in your leadership, I'll be the first to come to you. If ever I wanted to contest against you, you would be the first to know. He never answered that letter, but I wrote to him. And I have a copy of the letter. Why did you write me? That is my nature. I, I, did, I I'm a straight, I'm a straight fellow. My upbringing. So how is that related? Yes, that he will fight anybody who is a threat to him. You know, that statement of President Museveni of getting rid of opposition was misplaced. It is the, because that is the very same problem that caused about a loss of power. When the DP were in opposition, things could be brought out and resolved. Once he killed DP, then opposition, the internal opposition would emerge. And for President Museveni, if the opposition was not there to divert the discontent, he would have probably been overthrown within NRM. NRM yeah. power and the post uh, 2025, uh, I mean, uh, 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 1995 elections have also expired. So what we really need as a country is to sit, about, uh, sit down together, like Kenya has done repeatedly more than once, and say, which way should we go? And then all these things can be resolved. Otherwise, you will see this, the simmering within parties, the simmering in government, the anger in the population. They will not go away. No, no amount of propaganda will take them away. Any smart? Yes. If I, if I pick the word tired from you, the mm. political actors seem mm. the one to be tired. If 
if, if you took the opposition for now, yeah. they seem more disorganized, and the, the state called Uganda seems to be in trouble. Yes, uh, no, the, the, you know, when, when, when things are free, the irrelevance of every political actor will emerge in terms of the new ideas that overwhelm theirs and the new support that overwhelm theirs. But without, without that political framework that allows for these things to happen, you can be, they're more than tired. Some of these people, uh, they're past, uh, <laughs> and uh, I mean, you should look at me. I am, uh, even shirts don't fit me. Uh, that is the only thing most of these leaders should be doing. Uh, take the little bit of time they have in life to enjoy with grandkids and kids and uh, and friends and relatives and 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 once in a while give counsel to those who would have succeeded them well, you said that we should uh, borrow relief from kenya but are you aware that equally kenya is in more trouble oh yes i i the political I, actors seem to be turning guns to president uh, uh, yes and and it is because uh, Politics done dishonestly will never succeed. You know, Odinga won elections that were rigged right from the Kibaki time. If Odinga was made to serve, and he had served these two terms, he would not be contesting now. And, and, and uh, the next generation would have been taken, of, taken over peacefully. Because in politics, the mistakes you go, don't go away. I, I coined that... Uh, law of cumulative error. They, they only accumulate, but it is like weighing sugar, sugar in the dark. <laughs> you don't know how close to five kilos you would be when you are powering. And that is where we stand. Yeah, so let, let's look at, at FDC and if I could pick specific statements from you that if you make mistakes, yes. they will always repeat themselves. Do you think FDC has made mistakes in their play game? Oh, yes. Uh, right from the beginning, uh, the mistakes we made was uh, the, the component of FDC that came from reform agenda, thinking that the new party which was formed was theirs. And they fought some of us. I came from DP with, the, with my colleagues, others came from UPC, others came from NRM. And, and that incessant fight derailed us from what we were when we just formed. People respected us. Internationally, we went on a tour, me, Muntu Salam, to Canada, to the US, to Britain. We got donations, more than half a, mil uh, half a million pounds. That, that trust is gone. So was it too early if I could pose this question as we introduce, as we, as we conclude, yes. to introduce my party politics in Uganda? Because the actors are actually getting more confused. No, no, it is not, it is not too early. Uh, the derailment that occurred in Ugandan politics is, is that uh, at independence, the people who went to parliament, who went to LEGICO, were legitimate leaders of society people who had succeeded in life. Same thing you see in Tanzania, by the way. The stability in Tanzania is not because of uh, any uniqueness. A member of parliament of Tanzania is a senior person. He has assets, he has property, is not desiring to look for money to grab, and, and, and it allowed them to serve the country. In our country now, uh, when we started under Obote, Obote, with his interest in power, created opportunism. And that opportunism has carried on under the NRM, and you see it in FDC, you see it in any of these parties. So the country needs a complete rethink. Is all lost? Can we have a window to rectify this? Only if we accept that uh, none of us have an answer to it, and all of us must work towards that answer together, then all will not be lost. Otherwise, as I wrote in my article of 2014, political succession, why can't we learn from trees? Otherwise, we'll end up as Somalia ended up, 
will end up as uh, many of those in Central Africa, etc., ended up.